out of all, all the things I talk about on my channel, the one that really I care the most about is discussions about business and entrepreneurship. I probably have less videos about this topic than I do most of the other topics. But I actually care the most about this topic. I want to talk about how you can make boatloads of money. And I'm going to start off by talking about and addressing one of the comments I got today on my discussion channel and the response I gave to it. And then I'm going to talk about something else. I'm going to talk about a business that most people think it's impossible to get into, and that is how to be a product producer, how to start a manufacturing company, how to create products and bring them to market, and have the potential to make six-figure income per month. I did say per month. Or even if you do it per year, that's going to be about three times better than most people do. But the bottom line is you have to have the knowledge and the information on how to get started. This is not going to be a full discourse, but I'm going to point you in the right direction. Now, there's nothing that pleases me more than to put out a video and then get a response that lets me know that somebody benefited from it. That it is, that's if it is a video that was intended to benefit someone. So I received this comment actually two hours ago from Carl Price. Here's what he said. Greetings, sir. I have all of my research and I'm set up and ready for the ATM business in Houston, but I can't seem to find a location or may not be using the right approach. Do you have connections for business owners in Houston and can help me out? Carl. He also said, if you want, you can email your response. Rather than email, I figured that instead of just benefiting one person, I would address this question for the benefit of everyone else. And I decided I'd make a video about it since I put too much effort into my response. I'm, I'm actually going to put it on video, which for a lot of people, it's easier. But before I do that, I want to go back to the original video that he is referring to. For those of you who may not have seen it, it is this one. This video is entitled Creating Passive Income with ATM Machines. I'm going to play a brief clip of it. All excellent opportunities. So, personally, non product ability is what I prefer. It's going to be now, here's the big one. Here's the big one. This is one that I love ATM bidding. Okay? ATM bidding, a lot of people don't think about that or realize the potential in it, but yet, still, we've all come across ATM machines. Most of us have used ATM machines. ATM machines are actually, this is the bidding business, actually, believe it or not. A lot of people don't understand that. But basically, what you're doing is you're recycling money. And one thing I want to say about ATM vending, uh, which is another business I am involved in, is that location is the first and primary thing you need to think about. In fact, it's one of the first things you need to do. So before you even start thinking about whether or not you have the money to buy the machine or to put in the machine, first thing you need to do is think about location. Because if you get the right location, if you can get a location agreement, everything else can easily fall into place. And I, yes, I did say easily. It's a relatively low investment. You can buy a machine like you can buy these machines these days for uh, less than two thousand dollars. For less, that's right. For less than two thousand dollars, you can purchase a modern ATM ATM machine. And there was a time where purchasing an purchasing an ATM machine was very difficult, and more likely people would lease them because they would cost you know eighteen thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars for an ATM machine. Now they're a lot less expensive and a lot more efficient. A lot more efficient. Okay? So basically, it is a low investment. Okay, so basically that's it. This video, uh, that video is 12 minutes and 22 seconds. If you want to watch the video, go for it. It's entitled Creative pa Creating Passive Incomes with ATM Machines. Now, I've received a lot of um, private emails from various people. Well, not a lot, but a few. But various people that said that as a result of this video, they had actually begun an ATM business that they had actually purchased some ATM machines. One person said that they partnered with someone else and they were starting with two machines. And this was something that they had never thought about, it never occurred to them. And uh, as a result of this video, they have gone into business. And that was my plan and intent. 
It only has 3,554 views. And if out of that number, a few people start a business, then I'm very, very, very pleased with that. That means more to me than any money I could possibly make on YouTube. That's not why I do this. Um, and a few other people have commented also. Uh, man, this is really good. I've been watching other videos you posted as well. There's a lot of good information. I would like to take action. I would like to take action with the ATM business. That's what I want to hear. Uh, excellent video. Do you know what companies I can look to look at to consider this opportunity in the UK? Great info. Good info. How do I link my ATM business to my business bank account? Uh, I am seriously considering this as a business, and this info is exactly what I'm looking for. Thank you so much. Do I need a license to own and run an ATM in New York? And one of the ATM vendors responded, uh, ATM Portfolio Exchange. And they included a link. I have no problem with a company if they see a video like this and they want to use it to market their product or service because I'm not selling anything. And uh, as long as they are legitimate service, I love it. Go ahead, post it on my uh, video. And if someone benefits for it, then I'm very pleased. So there's a lot of uh, good response that uh, we've gotten on this. And the main thing I'm interested in, again, is that somebody actually implements it and puts it into practice. Otherwise, it's just entertainment. Okay? And my time is too valuable to do something just for entertainment. I want it to actually benefit someone, and obviously it is. Now, let's go back to uh, the question this guy has. And then we're going to talk about something else, which I'll probably do on a second video, because I want this one to be short, brief. Okay, so my response to the question about the locations. What's going on with this thing? I have no idea what that's about. Okay, again, my response to uh, Carl Price and anyone else that has similar thoughts or questions. You say he can't seem to find a location or he may be using the right, or he may not be using the right approach. So here's my response. I do not have connections in Houston. When it comes to business, communication is everything. Now, you may not be using the right approach or you may be approaching the wrong places. Some establishments will not be interested no matter what approach you use. Your approach has to focus on the benefits to them. They could care less about you. Also, if you don't establish camaraderie on some level, they won't do it even if they do like the ideal. They won't do it with you. That means they have to like you personally. Essentially, you are trying to establish a business relationship. That means you'll have access to their establishment on a regular basis. You'll be using their electricity. You'll have to keep your machines filled, etc. This is intimate. That means they will be seeing you on a regular basis. Okay? So if they can't tolerate seeing you the first time when you approach them, they definitely don't want to see you again, and they're going to say no. So your approach is everything. <clears throat> I believe that I should be excellent at everything that I do, and anything that we do can be done much better with study, knowledge, and practice. It is just like an interview. Many people have great qualifications but can never get a job because their interviewing skills suck. Communication on all levels is a skill. And when you're trying to get an ATM location, it takes the skill of salesmanship. For smaller establishments where the owner is often present, it's a good idea to first establish a good customer-client relationship. Be seen using their establishment a few times if you can. Establish yourself as a customer first. Strike up casual conversations. Make them like you as a person first. And then, when you do approach them about business, you'll have an inside advantage because they will already see you as an associate and a customer. Relationship building is one of the most useful skills in business. Sometimes you can build these relationships with the employees who may put in a word with the owner, but it's usually best if you talk to them. Stress the benefits. What are the benefits of an ATM business to an establisher? Convenience for their customers. Two, ATMs will bring more people into the establishment and some of them will then spend some of that money there, especially convenience stores. When merchants take Three, when merchants take credit cards, they are charged a fee for usage. If there's an ATM at the establishment, they will get more cash business, and they won't lose that money on credit card fees. And it adds up. Four, an ATM inside an establishment gives customers access to more cash, so some of them will spend more if they are short on cash, but they can get the money right there, the cash right there in the store. Five, always stress the fact that you will supply them with a big, bright sign that says, ATM inside... 
That side alone will draw people into the establishment. I have no idea what's going on with uh, YouTube right now. Six, I prefer not to pay them anything at all if I can get away with it. But if you can always, but you can always offer them a financial partnership in addition to all the other benefits. As little as 25 cents per transaction may be sufficient. If you are charging $3, you could go as high as 75 cents per transaction. In fact, you could actually go as high as a dollar if the location is good enough and if it's, that's the only way you can get in. Just imagine, you're approaching them with an opportunity to make extra money. Every time someone uses your ATM machine, they're going to earn as much as a dollar or 50 cents or 75 cents, whatever it is. And if you're getting enough transactions to warrant and justify putting your machine in that location, it can end up being significant money for them in addition to all the other benefits they get. Not really significant, but considering that what they have to do which is give you about uh, four square feet of floor space. That's a pretty good deal for them. Uh, where they can possibly make a few hundred dollars just for doing that. Let's see. And you tell them that the machine keeps the daily, weekly, and monthly tallies so that they will, and you'll always show them the transactions on the printout so they'll know that you're being fair with them. That's a good selling point. Many restaurants are independently owned. Some of them get a lot of traffic, and as owner-operators, many of them are very open and flexible to the idea of having an ATM inside the establishment. Black business owners and some foreign business owners are often extremely easy to work with and very flexible if you can show them the, show them the benefits. Typo. Remember, if you're starting with one machine, as I recommend, then you only need one location, and getting that one location is key. It may take more effort than you thought, but it's worth it. Also, in any selling game, the majority of people say no, even when you have the very best approach and the best offer. So it's all a numbers game. Even if you have to, had to approach 100 establishments to get one to say yes, it would be worth it. My best advice for doing any business is to do your own due diligence. For any business you can think of, there are going to be numerous articles, blogs, forums, websites, resources, books, videos, etc., if you're serious about a business, then become obsessed with learning everything possible from as many different sources as possible. I will not be your only source. Do your work. Not only learn the business, but develop the skills necessary to succeed. Unless you're a natural salesman, then study and work on persuasive communication skills. Because it will help you in any business you do. Trust me, I have read books on even the most mundane and simple things that some people take for granted. For my various business for my various businesses, communication is key. I don't just hop haphazardly do something. I have studied persuasive communication, marketing psychology, etc. extensively and know how to push buttons and get the responses I desire. Doing anything well should be treated like and developed like an art. Like an art, the art of doing business. By the way, I shall soon create and post a video about product development and manufacturing, another business I'm very much involved in. Most people will be surprised, if not shocked, to learn that this is something they can do and starting with much less money than they ever imagined possible. You know, ever since uh, Google took over YouTube, I love Google. <laughs> I have stock in Google. I bought stock as soon as they went public. Stock has done very well. I love Google as a company, but <laughs> I really wish, in a way, I sometimes wish they'd have left YouTube alone. Uh, that's my personal feelings on that. Now, I want to get into what I said I was going to be talking about, which is this other business of becoming a product creator. Before I do, I just want to tell you something. 